Hello, my name is Afwa Busia. I'm an actress from Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is the old woman who lived in a shoe. There is a woman who is a mother. She pledges her allegiance, like me and you, under the power of the Almighty, the government, that is. She is blessed and promised a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In return, she promises to work hard, work tough, work strong to earn her keep. Boy, does she work. Work so hard. The calluses on her hands prevent her from feeling the face of her child. How she hates her hands. Hands on to make her new home grow. Grow big and strong and tall so you can look after me one day, she says to her littlest little one. He looks up at her and blinks as if to say, yes. Each day when night falls, she kneels by her bed and counts her blessings. Day in, day out, she bows her head in sweat or religion. One Tuesday without warning, Her eyes close, her eyes open, she can barely stand. What just happened? Where is her almighty, the government, that is? She remembers walking her son to school. Her son, she feels for it. Where once his little hands held hers. She grasps, she grabs, she clutches. She holds nothing. He's left without saying goodbye. She ages 70 years in this moment. She blacks out. As if waking up for the very first time in an Eden of hell, all she can see are nameless faces, buried in the levee walls and God's tears. She looks up. The sunshine sparkles like an array of diamonds shimmering against the twisted metal and broken glass. Her throat is dry with a brackish tang. Her voice is hoarse with anguish as it echoes off the splintered trees. She weeps alone. The expanding smell of silence. Her withered hands are crimson from the digging. Where are you? The vultures of fate circle around her as they mock her cawing. From the field to the source, she searches for life. Her legs bloat with the lack of warmth. Then she sees it. All that remains is one solitary shoe. The shoe drifts toward her as if walking on water. It bobs oh so gentle and nods at her as if to say, Don't worry, Mama. I'm fine now. She wraps her withered old fingers around the shoe. She takes in the dirty white canvas with black laces. She recognizes where a small hole reveals where his little toe would poke through. She knows now it is his. Where he is, he has no need for shoes. She empties a shoe of black water and fills it again with her white tears. She sways to the memory of his voice in the hollow remains of a playground. She looks down at the shoe. She lives her life now in this shoe. She waits for a savior to swoop down and save her, her savior, the almighty, the government, that is. The old woman who lived in a shoe.